Alrighty, I'm back. Hi, everybody. How have you been? Welcome in, I guess. <laughs> uh, today we have a brand new speed build, but this time I'm doing a little bit differently. I did this build a few months ago by now. It's been a few months. I don't remember what it looks like, and I'm doing this voiceover without watching it. So let's just try it out. But today we will be building, or rebuilding I guess, uh, the Goths family house, uh, aka the iconic Goth family. Uh, this is a build that I freaking adore and I think it turned out really freaking cool. Uh, so let's jump into the video. Uh, also if you're new here and you don't know who I am, hi I'm Zoe, I am a content creator. A variety content creator, wowee. Um, <laughs> but I make content here over on YouTube and also on Twitch. That's my main two platforms. So if you enjoy what you're, what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe and all that fun stuff. I don't know. You don't have to if you don't want to. This is one of the builds that will be a part of my Sims save file. Uh, in fact, this is the first build in my renewed... renewed? I, revamped I guess I'm basically I had a save file I was working on I had a decent chunk done but I decided to just start all over again because I was starting it originally where I was just doing the worlds that like anything that had like expansion packs or game packs with a world in it I only used those and then I was like well hang on a minute no <laughs> let's change it up so now I'm using uh expansion pack games pack and stuff pack I'm not using any of the kits because the kits are a waste of money but that's my opinion if you enjoy a kit you know all the better for you I guess I don't know is that is that a saying I don't know uh but yes this is the goth family home as I said I t I think it turned out really freaking cute uh I loved the build style of it it was so outside of my comfort zone but I think it really suits the family. So if I remember correctly, uh, it was supposed to be inspired by like a Victorian styled harm. I think that's kind of what I ended, ended up going for. I wanted to keep a lot of black and white and red. I felt like that, obviously the red is very iconic, but seeing as they're the goth family, I mean, goths in their name, you kind of have to have a lot of darkness and mystery, I guess. And like, well, that's how I interpret goth i mean i'm sure everyone's a, got a little bit of a different take but that's how i view it anyway uh so so that's what i did i did a lot of blacks whites grays and reds try to keep it very um elegant so i did a lot of uh i believe i used the vampire pack uh i think i also used get to, get famous i almost said get to famous get famous uh vintage glamour stuff like that but yeah, I think it turned out really freaking cute as I keep saying. But yeah, I honestly love this build. I also really enjoyed doing the landscaping of it. Yeah, I just, I just love the landscaping of it. I also, sir, I was trying to find like a good mix of like what I wanted this house to look like. So I wanted to do something that was obviously more like their Sims 4 home. But for me, uh, the... This the goth family will be always be the most iconic to me from The Sims 2 and The Sims 1, mostly The Sims 2 though. I will always remember the uh the backyard that they had. They had the cemetery, but they also had like a little area for weddings, which when you first loaded into the household in The Sims 2, who is getting married? Well, it's only Cassandra Goth and Don Lothario. What? And he leaves her at the altar, if I remember correctly, too. What the hell? Ugh, he doesn't know what's right in front of him. Come on. Anyways, so I added those in as well because I thought that was just a nice little touch. And yeah, it's not 100% accurate to what it was, but like, it's not supposed to be. I just like that it was inspired by it. And I didn't know what else to do with the backyard, to be honest, because I didn't want to move where the family was. I still wanted to keep the house a decent shape, a decent size, I should say. I just, I love this house. If I could move into this house, I probably would. I'd probably change the coloring and stuff, but I think it turned out really cool. And what I've done, if I remember correctly, I've also done, I did a house literally opposite it. I think I'm like halfway through building it because I, I got really burnt out of Sims and I haven't touched it in a while now at this point, but that's okay. That's another point entirely. Uh, but the house directly opposite this one is like all pink, all pink, all white, very contrasting uh, different vibes. Uh, but I, I think they work really well together. And then on one of the other corners, they, um, I think it's the one next to them. 
I think next to them is the pancakes household. So I'm also trying to do that in a similar style as well. And I'm trying to bring in a lot of greens for that one, I believe. And then the other one on the other corner, I think I'm going to make that one very like blue. Or I think either blue or brown. Maybe a brown, actually. I'm not sure. I want them to look uh, similar, but not matching. I just want them to have like a similar vibe. Because I feel like what was there originally, it's great. Uh, it definitely has the characteristics of each people, each family, I should say, but it's not coherent, which is fine, but I, I think it makes a lot more sense to be, for it to be coherent, especially in, uh, where is it? Willow Creek in that neighborhood. I feel like it makes a lot more sense. I feel like if this was real life, it'd probably be maybe not a gated community, but definitely a community that like has a strong a strong community vibe even if they're not talking to each other I feel like it's still very influential in terms of uh trying to keep up with like good uh landscaping and like they've probably got cleaners coming in like a couple of times a week you know stuff like that just because they can and because they can afford it uh maybe there's a butler who knows <laughs> Actually, no, maybe not the butlers. I feel like the butlers are definitely in the, uh, in the, uh, San My Schooner. No, not San My Schooner. What's the city one again? Don't remember, but no, not the city one. Oh my God. I mean the Hollywood one, uh, Del Sol Valley. Del Sol Valley. Is that the one? I feel like they've definitely got the butlers. Like I'm talking like my, my Judith Ward area has definitely got the butlers going on. <laughs> But as I said, this is part of my save file that I'm working on very slowly. So I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. I hope it's a nice little inside view of what it looks like. Uh, you'll also maybe see me making over the goth family. Uh, if I haven't made them over already, I actually don't remember if I finished making them over or not. Uh, but if you'd like to see some cast videos of my uh, for my save file, let me know. And also what other builds you'd like to see me do in the future. I can definitely try and do some. I'm trying to do... Oh, okay, so at the time of recording this, it is May 8th. Moon Knight, I am obsessed with. Uh, it just finished the other day. I'm very sad by it because uh, that show was so good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you've been watching my Twitch streams, I'm sure you are sick to death of hearing me talk about it, but it's really good. Um, but I wanted to do a series, uh, wanted to do a series kind of like I did with the One Division series. Uh, where I made over, I, like I did a build and I did a cast video each week, but I couldn't really do that in a way that made sense for the show. But I think what I want to do is I want to make over, or I want to build, I should say, I want to build um, the London apartment and then I think maybe some of the main characters uh, as just like a general video and then maybe be like, here's my overall thoughts on the show kind of thing uh, as I, I was gonna say spoiler free but let's be honest it's not gonna be spoiler free but I probably wouldn't release it for like another month or so anyway so it should be enough time to watch it hopefully I mean you don't have to watch it if you don't want to right <laughs> there's always that option um but yeah no I I really enjoy doing series like that the one division the one division series that I did on my channel was so much fun and it seemed like a lot of people really enjoyed it too so if you would like me to do something similar like that, again, let me know and I can try my best uh, because it's really fun. The problem is I just don't know what to do for it, you know, and that, that's really upsetting sometimes because you're just like, ah, I love doing this thing, but there's nothing else I can do for it. Womp womp. But, you know, yeah, never say never. There's definitely more choices, uh, more chances, I guess I should say, for things like that to pop up in the future, you know? Keep an eye out for this spot. I don't know. God, I'm saying that like I have any idea what's coming out in Marvel next. I am so lost. <laughs> uh, the worst part is like the new Doctor Strange movie just came out like this week as well and I haven't had the chance to see it yet but I keep seeing like not, well, I've seen a couple spoilers. I'm not, this is a spoiler free area, but like I've seen a couple spoilers popping up and I'm like, I can't see it for like another week at this point. And it's really rough. <laughs> it's so rough because I'm just like, I want, I want to watch it so I could talk to people about it because I know by the time I see it, people are going to be like, oh, I already talked about it with someone and I'd be like, no. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to be able to watch that. Well, what else am I excited to watch? Oh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. That comes out in two weeks now, I think. 
and it comes out near the end of May, so that's very exciting. And there's two episodes coming out on the first day, which we love to see. Very exciting. I've also been watching, or I guess I should say I finished watching, I binge watched all of Heartstopper, which is on Netflix. That was a super cute show. Once again, no spoilers, but holy crap, that show was so cute. Uh, that was a really wholesome show. I really enjoyed it. So if you have Netflix, uh, I would recommend it. I, I thought it was really good. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. And I hope there's a season two because it was just like wholesome and I just felt like all gooey inside. You know, it was really cute. <laughs> And then I've also been watching the Clone Wars TV show with Austin um, and really enjoying that. And I just want to watch all of it at once, but I can't because I have to wait. And I can't, I feel bad watching things without people. And like, I'm not going to be that person, but like, it's so rough just sitting here and be like, no, I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to wait. (laughs) But you know. Uh, let me know what you're watching at the moment though or what you've seen recently that you really enjoyed and recommend you never know what someone might recommend that you've never seen or heard of before but apart from that I've also nearly caught up with Doctor Who which is very exciting um we are currently watching through the flux season which is like the latest little like mini season they did so that's exciting we're only like two episodes into that so far but I think it's like a six episode event I want to say so not too bad but we definitely need to sit down and watch more of that. Uh, What else have I been up to in the last like month or so? Jeez, it's been so long since I've uploaded. I'm really sorry. I just, the problem is I get like so, I get, mm, I guess burnt out is the best way to explain it because I'll like, the second I'm in a productive mood, I'll do like so many things. I'll edit videos, I'll record videos, I'll sit here, I'll do art, I'll do TikToks, everything right every single creative thing that I can think of doing I will do it and that's so unhealthy and like I need to understand and like work out a way that's healthier for me it'll be like okay do this thing today and when you're done with that you can do the next thing tomorrow or like you know something that's a bit more structured rather than just be like hey smash it all out right now (laughs) but that's what I do and I've always been like that and it's really not good for my brain because then it you know, after that like week, two weeks, however long that period is, I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit here and I just want to just sit here and do nothing pretty much, which is really bad. Uh, and then on top of that, I also had family visiting uh, at the end of last month. Uh, at the end of March, we had some family visiting, which was nice. But, you know, as family visits, you get thrown off whack thrown off whack I don't think that's the word but you know what I mean uh and then my dad was away for a couple weeks which was fine so it meant that it was just me and my mom and we were just hanging out and just chilling and stuff but it still felt a little weird you know because I'm used to routine of like my dad waking me up in the morning and like hanging out with my dad at lunch or something like that but like I couldn't do it which is fine because it's nice having breaks every now and again but also like it's really weird having your routine thrown off so much especially after the week before where it was like hey there's people here uh, and now this week, like today, my granddad arrived and it, it's nice to see him, but it's also like, oh my God, I need a break, <laughs> you know, uh, like it, my dad literally was home with us for like four hours and then it was just like, ah, surprise, ah, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> also, I noticed that my audio just peaked then. I'm really sorry. My bad. But yeah, like I said, it's nice to see everyone, but also like, I just, I'm, I'm excited for next week. So I can just kind of be like, okay, get back into my routine you know, on Monday, Tuesday, stream, Wednesday's my day off, like, my day to edit or, like, record stuff or just chill, Uh, and then Thursday, Friday, back to stream, and then Saturday, Sunday, I can do whatever the hell I want, I can watch shows, I can work on stream stuff, I try and keep my work week, like, my stream and, like, editing stuff to be just during the week but sometimes I feel bad on the weekend because I'm like I didn't really do much during the week you know uh yeah yeah <laughs> why are our brains like this it's it, it it's vicious it's a vicious cycle isn't it <laughs> wow this video really went from me being so excited about this build to me just bitching about how my brain works I am very sorry <laughs> but it's nice to have a little healthy event every now and again I guess I don't know <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you want to talk about? You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, what's a good talking point for, for these videos? I forget. Who knows? 
um i think this video should be coming up to an end now anyways uh if not i will try and ramble a bit more um so i'll either end this now so i'll uh, do a little pre-ending and if it doesn't end here then i guess i'll come back in a few days and end the rest okay let's try this thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this uh shout out to my patrons austin and Catherine. and if you would like a shout out in the next video make sure you join the patreon as well you can get early access and you can see the behind the scenes of stream stuff uh and behind behind the scenes of videos and in the future you might see some cosplay stuff because i really want to cosplay but i don't know who as although twitter is voting at the moment and i think wanda might be winning so just saying but yeah like i said i hope you enjoyed this video fingers crossed this is the end if not i'll catch you in a minute i guess i don't know this is a really awkward way to end this all right bye everybody <laughs> have a good one